So this is your highest uh, value uh, in terms of uh, the new orders uh, from the South Asian markets. Uh, so if you could tell us and take us through some of the details about the order, like your share in the order, the execution period and so on. I'm really delighted to share with you that Labag has won the highest uh, value order in its history of almost 100 years. This is a 400 million liters per day desalination plant to be built in Chennai. Our client is Chennai Metro Water and the funding is coming from JICA, which is a multilateral furniture. This desalination plant is going to be the largest desalination plant in Southeast Asia. We have already built the largest desalination plant currently operating in Chennai. So probably this is four times of that. So one, you know, it is going to bring a lot of security to the city in terms of uh, water. At the same time, when we look at from Obak's perspective, given you know, the size of the contract and an execution period of 42 months, I think it is going to result into a major growth for us going forward. And desalination market is one market which is growing at a double digit globally, especially with the advent of hydrogen, uh, green hydrogen coming in and we are already amongst the top 10 desalination players so with this particular order we expect that we'll be further moving up globally in our rankings and we'll be able to qualify for very large desalination plants which are coming up in different parts of the world good afternoon mr chopra the shell also joining in the conversation and firstly congratulations for such a big order but apart from this order recently you also bagged a bangladesh order so post all of these orders where does your order book stand right now yeah i think that is the most expected question so i think uh, in my last interaction with et now i had mentioned that we'll be closing minimum 5000 crores worth of orders before 31st march so we won an 800 crore order, which is funded by World Bank and AIIB in Bangladesh, which is the first order for us in Bangladesh. So both put together, we have already exceeded 5,000 crores. So I may not be able to you know, mention the exact figure since we are in a silent period currently, but I can definitely tell you that in the history of Obak, we'll be the you know, closing with the highest ever order backlog. And that will be one of the strongest indicators that of our growth going forward. Because if you see the current year, our focus has more been on profitability, but given the size of the order book, we, we are pretty sure that, you know, going forward, both we will, you'll see a appreciable growth, both in the top line and bottom line. Okay, Mr. Chopra, just wanted to get in some more details on your order inflows. In Q4, if we see, then uh, your order inflows is somewhat around 5,200 crores. Is this number sustainable on a quarterly basis going forward? What is your sense? See, our business is always a very lumpy business. So I don't think, you know, we can, you know, clock 5,000 crores every quarter. But definitely our endeavor will be that in the coming year, whatever order book we have, in the current fiscal year, we should try to, you know, either achieve or exceed that order intake for the coming year. Let's just focus into your overseas accounts. Has, how has the execution been uh, there, given the fact that there have been some concerns about slowdown uh, kicking in those areas? Are you fixing any issues on your front? I think uh, we had certain logistics issues because of which, you know, there was a slowdown in the execution and uh, obviously we have some one major overseas contract where we found that uh, although we are well set to you know, execute that contract but because of certain sanctions i'm mentioning here about our russia contract we had to you know you know redo our ordering on new vendors and you know see that which are the countries from where we can you know procure the material where sanctions are not applicable. So definitely that has put a, you know, a little, you know, slowdown on our execution being the largest order. Other than that, I think our execution is on target and uh, it will continue to be that, whether it is India or overseas. 
Okay, Mr. Chopra, in Q3, your margin saw an uptick owing to easing of the RM prices. But how should one see your core margins? That is actually excluding your other income. Because while speaking to the analyst community, the inconsistencies in the margins has been a concern. So anything on that front? As I said, during the, our silent period, we are not allowed to comment on that. So once we are able to freeze our results for this particular quarter and year, we'll come back to you and uh, maybe we'll be able to give you more information on the margins aspect. Right. Mr. Chopra, let's put the spotlight on the arbitration issue related to the project in Andhra Pradesh. If you could uh, help us with some of the update, uh, some updates on that particular front. Also, any timelines that you can share as to when you're going to expect the money to come in uh, on the same and that may actually end up easing some working capital for you. See, uh, uh, since, you know, most of our, you know, receivables, they are sub -judice. So at this point of time, I'm not able to comment, but as and when there is any development, I think we will be the first one to come back to the investor community and media to share the developments.